Hey girls and guys, it is Anna from Sai. Let's play, and we are back with Cheerleaders Revenge Part 2. This one is called Heartbreak A Love Story, and it's easy to tell just from this who is about to get heartbroken, and it's gonna be it's gonna be our girl. And I'm really sad, but let's go ahead and get into it and find out about her heartbreak. <sighs> I hope this isn't a sad one, but I think it is going to be. It's just Previously on Cheerleaders Revenge. My name is Haley Peterson. I always thought I was the luckiest girl in the world. I had the best boyfriend, Jason, and the best friend, Evelyn. Or so she thought, until she found out Evelyn was a backstabber. I was the most popular girl in my high school, and also the cheerleading captain. Evelyn was always behind me. However, all things changed that day. It's the rehearsals of National Cheerleading Competition Finals. I accidentally fell down to the floor and broke my leg. And we all know whose fault that was. Evelyn, I'm looking at you, girl. I see you. So, that's the recap. You know, she here she was. She had it all. That's how she felt. She felt like she was living her dreams. And then Evelyn just couldn't stand the fact that Haley was the one taking all the limelight. So, she went into her locker room. And she made it so she broke her legs. All right, so let's see. Don't worry, Haley. I got your back, girl. I'm going to help you out here. And we're going to take Evelyn down. Because this is about revenge. Oh. I'm in the hospital. And I'm bored. I miss my cheerleading squad. But the doctor said I can't return back to training for several months. <gasps> several months? Oh, at least Jason's there. But too bad that backstabbing Evelyn is there. Girl, you, why are you here, huh? Trying to pretend you're my friend. I know. I'm going to find out the truth, though. All right, let's check you out, yeah? Ooh. You have some little wounds here and there. Don't worry. We'll take care of them, okay? Got one on your leg. Don't worry, girl. I know it hurts, but you'll be okay. Now, let's check. Ooh. That looks really bad. Okay, at least now we know where the break is. Let's go ahead and put a cast on it. Good thing is, you didn't need surgery or anything like that. So we're gonna go with a blue, because it's gonna match her uniform. And then we wanted to like, <gasps> oh, cute little stars. Oh my gosh, I love stars. Oh, we got sorrels as well. Let's go with stars. Because she's gonna shine bright like a star, no matter who tries to take her down. <gasps> is that the Illuminati? Oh my gosh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave it like that. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. The little sea animals. Look at them. I can't even right now. Look how cute they are. And we'll put Mr. Sun right there. We'll put Squidward right there. Amazing. Mr. Sunshine. Mr. Sunshine. I want just because I'm trying to put you in the corner doesn't mean I'm. There we go. Perfect. And then, can we go back to this? Do I actually want this one now? Maybe we should do swirls, like waves, you know? There we go. And uh, we're gonna leave it like that. Look at her cute little cast we gave her. Now let's check your blood pressure. My blood pressure would be through the roof knowing that Evelyn the backstabber was there. Don't worry. There we go. Okay, it seems good. Let's give you some flowers. Aw, who gave her the get well flowers? Perfect. Was it Jason? Was it did J Jason better not get with Evelyn? Because then that just means he only wanted to be with her because she was popular, Perfect. and that's not nice. I like the I like the white flower. I think it's nice. And then we could add a little pop of color with the yellow. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, what about these? Those are cute too. And then um, what are we doing? Are we coloring the paper? Ah, there we go. Do we have another color though? Like a turquoise color. Oh, very nice. There we go. Perfect. And now, you need something to drink. Because you're, you're real thirsty, girl. Get apples. Because it's good for your health. So are pears and strawberries. And they taste delicious. Hopefully this cheers you up a little bit. Let's add some milk into that. I blend it all together. Boom. There we go. Ooh, can I have some of that? It looks very tasty. Oh, I gotta say, it looks very yummy. Right, there we go. Perfect. So now drink your drink. How you feeling, girl? Feeling a bit better? Talk to us. Tell us what's wrong.
Have a good rest, Haley. You need it for a speedy recovery. Goodbye, my girl. We still have an hour before first class in the afternoon. Why don't we go to the cafe across the street? Let's go and grab some food to eat. I know what you're trying to do, Evelyn. That sounds great. Jason, how could you be so dumb? Did I hear it wrong? Evelyn just invited Jason to the cafe? The romantic cafe across the street? I'm not feeling good about this. My best friend and my boyfriend? OMG, I should follow them. Ouch. No, Haley, you don't need to worry about this. She should be focusing on recovering right now, but instead she's worrying about her best friend who's betraying her and trying to steal her man. But Jason is not innocent in this. If he falls for Evelyn's trick, then he is just as bad as Evelyn. So we need to remember, it takes two to tango. So if Jason falls for this, he is just as wrong as Evelyn. Let's go spy on their little romantic cafe date. Huh. Let's go grab something to eat, she said. Why should you try to steal your man? Romantic lights, beautiful music, even candles? What are my best friend and my boyfriend talking about behind my back? Haley, they, if, they, if he cheats on you and if your best friend did that to you, they're not even worth your time, girl, okay? Because she was never a friend and he was never a good boyfriend. Why am I helping them clean up their table? I should be making it more dirty. Put a little flower there. I want the ugliest flower. The ugliest flower. Are there so fl all flowers are beautiful. I can't think of an ugly one. Let's go with that one. I guess. Even though it's still pretty. <sighs> I don't want to light their candles. This is so disrespectful to Haley. There she is. In the hospital. Or she's supposed to be in the hospital. Recovering from a, such a severe injury. And they're over here just enjoying a date together. What kind of friends are they? Let's put the silverware. Mm, let's go with this one here. And put your napkin. You got your knives. Your forks. I would stab you with one of these forks, girl. I'm just kidding. Violence is not the answer. And then we need a drink. So we're gonna do some lemons, some coconut. And some uh, blueberries. That sounds disgusting. And I hope it's disgusting. Because they don't deserve nothing good. Pour that in there. I hope it tastes bad. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then... Okay, let's find out. <gasps> Girl, get the gossip. What's going on? Jason, listen. I have two tickets to tonight's movie. Haley accidentally broke her leg. So, could I invite you? Um, uh, come on, come with me. Oh, I would never imagine my best friend flirting with my boyfriend behind my back. Would Jason go to that movie with her? I should go to the cinema tonight. No, Haley, you should rest. She, Haley won't listen to me. She's just, uh. I know, like, girl, I wanted the gossip as much as you do, and I want to get all the information. But you need to take care of your leg if you want to get back on the cheer squad. And if Jason goes to that movie, mm, I will never see him the same way again. I will never, ever trust Jason again. All right, so before she goes to the cinema, she obviously has to get ready, you know, because she can't go in her little hospital gown because in the back, they just tie him and you could, you know, then get exposed. I feel heartbroken. What am I supposed to do when my BFF starts hitting on my boyfriend? You're supposed to forget about both of them, Haley. You're a strong, independent woman, and you do not need a best friend like that. You need to wipe those tears away and not even worry about her, okay? She was just jealous of you. Because you're amazing. You're strong. You're smart. You've got it all. Okay, let's put your hair back. Oh my God, I didn't and now, let's sort out your eyes. I know you can't believe it, but you gotta believe it. Your friend just betrayed you. Just wipe away your makeup. There we go. Wipe away that old lipstick. Is it gone? There. Oh, and now, face. your face is clean. You're good to go. What else do I need to do? Your eye drop? Oh, I forgot your other eyeball. <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> there. And now, go ahead and just scrub your whole face. 
I hope Jason doesn't go. And wipe all of the gunky away. There you go, looking so fresh and so clean clean. Now, it's time to go to that mo to the movie theater and find out what's going on. All right, but whatever happens, Haley, I want you to be strong, okay? I want you to be strong, girl. Hold it together. Even if Jason is there, don't let him break your heart. But I think he is. This is called Heartbreak a Love Story after all. It wasn't called Happy Lee Ever After, was it? So we got her clean. Now it's time to get ready for the movies. So we gotta put some new clothes on. We gotta make her feel confident. Putting on some makeup definitely made my day better. Even if I catch them in the cinema, I should be doing it in a decent way. You should be fabulous. All right, here we go. Let's brush your hair. All right, do not let your your backstabbing friend get you down, all right? Let's put some eyeshadow on you. What color do we want? You could do red. It makes your eyes pop, you know? Well, the purple will make your eyes pop because you got purple eyes, you know? But I don't know how I feel about that right now. Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice little peachy color. I like that a lot. All right. So, so far, I'm, I'm going with the peach. I really, really like the peach. Where was it? Where was the peach color? Is it this one? Yeah, it was. Perfect. And now, want any sparkle? Ooh, girl. We could make you sparkle. Let's make you sparkle. Usually, I don't go with the sparkles, but why not? Today's a special day. Let's see what that looks like. You know what? It doesn't look bad. It looks like shimmery eyeshadow. Perfect. Now, let's put on some lipstick. What colors do we have here? Mm. Whoa, that's a nice color. It's like a brownish undertone. Oh, there goes the pink. More on the natural side. Wow, you could do gray. It's gonna make her look dead. That's not a cute look. That's too... I don't know. I don't really like that color. I like the vibrant ones. Like, I want like a really vibrant pink, but... They don't really seem to have one besides this one here, so we're gonna go with this one here. There we go. The lips are done. And now we need a little bit of blush. Cause look, sometimes that when you go to the hospital, sometimes you look a little bit pale. Nothing wrong with that, but we're just gonna add some blush to make her look a little bit more alive. Um Ooh, this is tricky. Who's amazing? Who's gonna wear blue eyes blue uh Blue, 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 blue blush like that. Okay, you know, whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel confident, we'll go with that one. Because it ma matches your eyeshadow. And then, last but not least, we need some mascara. Here we go. Let's color these in. There we go. Oh, girl, you're going to be fluttering your eyelashes. And, oh, I like that. That looks really nice. I'm going to go with those. Perfect. Look at you, girl. Looking all nice. Now, go over to that cinema, even though you got your broken legs or your broken leg, and find out what Evelyn and Jason are doing behind your back. Because now I just want to know, you know? Now I want to know. Now I have to know. So we got this little gem. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm nervous. I hope I hope Jason puts Evelyn in her, in her place. Let's find out. Cinema. Please, Jason, we're all counting on you. Don't make us change our vote. We're Team Jason right now. This is the cinema Evelyn talks about. I'd better wait outside. I hope they won't show up. Girl, not only did they show up, they're, Evelyn's leaning a little bit too close to Jason. Like, she needs to back up. I would have went over there and I would have sat in between them and like, Oh, hey, Evelyn. And it's not to see that you're a boyfriend stealer. Okay, let's um give her some popcorn. Oh, poison your popcorn. I'm just kidding. There we go. Put that in there. Put some olive oil and some salt. Because I'm feeling real salty right now. And then let's put the popcorn machine. There we go. Oh, she's about to ruin popcorn for me forever. I love popcorn. Popcorn is one of my favorite things. But now I don't. I just feel disgusted. There you go. I hope your drink doesn't spill on you, Evelyn. We're gonna go with that. Looks like a like a movie cup, so we're gonna go with that one. Then let's give them their 3D glasses. Okay, 
right there we go wow so now i want to they just go watch a movie they went to go watch a 3d movie that's more expensive wow okay let's wake up that guy in the back sleeping hello mister does doesn't jason need his glasses too <gasps> no no don't tell me they're gonna kiss they're gonna kiss aren't they <gasps> get it together girl They leaned in. This is the movie Evelyn mentioned this noon. I hope they're not here. They are. The movie's over. Ugh. I think this is a great movie. I bet you do. I agree, especially the actor. What are they going to say? Yeah, he's my favorite. I bet he will win some, like, best actor award next year. <gasps> they're not going to kiss, are they? They're here. My boyfriend and my best friend? They look so happy. What should I do? Stab him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't. No. Be strong, Evelyn. You need to confront them both. Because I thought, you know, I, I was giving Jason the benefit of that doubt. I was thinking he might be a good guy that, you know, loves his girlfriend and stands by her. But look at him holding Evelyn's hand like that. Or her arm. Next on Cheerleader's Revenge. I saw you in the audience. You must be very upset that I won the competition. I took your place, right? That's Evelyn talking. I did something terrible to you. I am so sorry, but I have to break up with you. What? Get out of my face now. More drama of the cheerleader story will be revealed. Stay tuned for our next app. Hold up. Wait a second. So the competition must have happened. Evelyn must have took Haley's place. And Evelyn must have won the competition. And now Jason feels guilty because he cheated on Haley with Evelyn. So now he wants to break up. And now Evelyn's upset. I mean, Haley's upset. She's like, get out of my face. Wow. I can't believe this. I really can't. In the comments down below, let me know. Were you team Jason or did you know from the start that he was going to betray her? I had hope that Jason would do the right thing. I really did. I was team Jason. But then he did this. Now I just, I cannot be team Jason anymore. But most of all, I can't believe Evelyn. Because, I mean, even though they're both at fault, Evelyn was her friend, her best friend, and friends don't do that to one another, so I just can't believe it. Anyway, you guys, I will have a link down below to the game, as I always do with all the apps. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me do part three when it comes out. I'm not sure when it's going to come out. These these kind of tend to take um, quite some time, so... I'll let you guys know when part three comes out and let me know if you want me to do a part three or not. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!